history, I'd like to encourage you folks to stick around for the next few minutes because if you do, you're sure to witness one of the smallest, yet greatest wonders we have here in our park. It's the birth of a living, breathing baby dinosaur. And like I said, this is the girl we're going to keep an eye on, okay? Now, for those of you that are just joining us, uh, can we please allow the smaller ones to come up to the window so that they can get a good view of the egg? Those of you in the back or seated can get a great view on these monitors up above. All right, now as I was saying, this hatching chamber has alerted us with IHE, or an imminent hatching event, and I can assure you that you don't want to miss this. And like I said, this is the girl, okay? Now, some people say that Jurassic Park is an adventure that is 65 million years in the making, but here in our central nursery, our adventures can take just a matter of seconds. Or longer. Um, can't rush Mother Nature. That's what they keep telling me. And I do know that song. Oh, okay. Push, baby dino. All right, welcome to the world, baby dino. It's pretty spectacular, isn't it? Now, something like this has not occurred naturally in over 80 million years. Can anyone tell me what kind of dinosaur this is? T-Rex. I heard T-Rex. She's smaller than a T-Rex. That's right, she's a Velociraptor. Now, it's hard to believe that this little girl is going to grow to be one of the most dangerous predators that we have here in our parks. <laughs> not, not even getting it old. She's already got plenty of attitude. Well, what can I do to tell you folks about Velociraptors? Uh, they belong to the dinosaur species that is most closely related to birds. They, they lay eggs. They lay eggs, about two pounds each, and each egg incubates four around 90 days. Now, they are born to be born, kind of like the future adults. They even have tiny little teeth and claws, which is why I'm going to avoid getting my fingers in front of their face. Now, they mature rapidly, becoming fully grown adults in just about a year. But even then, we've got to take very good care of them before introducing them to the rest of their pack. As a matter of fact, it's one of our greatest challenges that we have here in our parks. Introducing them quickly to other Velociraptors, the mouth for they're able to fully pull their own. But it looks like this little girl is off to a pretty good start, huh? Oh, and speaking of good starts, it's a tradition here in our nursery whenever we have a new hatching. that we allow one of our guests to have the first crack at naming the person who wants to name this little girl? She needs a new girl's name. Is that what you said, Tammy? Okay, I think she likes that. You like that little bit? Yep, she likes it. Well, before we my new friend Tammy go, I'd like to remind you guys, if you have any questions, please feel free to ask myself or any of our other discovery guys on Do we have questions? Yes, she's a little dinosaur. Any other questions? Well, if you have any more, just feel free to ask any of our other discovery guys on duty. That's a perfect is right back here, and I will not exactly tell you biologist, but we will try to answer what we can. Me and my new friends, Tammy, are off to the new house. I've got to take her away and take lots of measurements, but I hope you guys appreciate the rare honor of being here today. So everybody, we go back to Tammy. She's out to our new Tiny Terror. Happy day, folks, and happy discovery. Hey guys, who named Tammy? Was your name Are you solo or a pack? Good. Listen, 
information, we can be certain for your ideal dino to be But now, check out the panel below me for step two, your brain scans. See the yellow outline below me that kind of looks like your head? Bring your face all the way down until your eyes and mouth line up with the green. Hold down the flashing button, stay really still, and think really hard till I say okay. Ready? Here goes. Welcome. Good. With all the information gathered from the race, we now have sufficient data to locate your ideal dino DNA donor. And there she is. With your physical and mental profile, you're perfectly compatible with this speedy, solitary carnival. So now the only thing left to do is step three, where we'll actually sample your DNA. So, turn it to your right. Place your right hand on the blue hand register, where a microscopic quantity of your genes will be painlessly captured. Good, real fine reading that time. So now, let's take a look at what you're made of. Wow, check out all those numbers. What you see sitting before you is your very own genetic code on its way to be recombined with your receptor dinosaur. Man, a very good This is Oh, my God. It appears your newly created life form 